Hello, my name is Gleb and I'm an experienced data analysis and data science tutor and also I have more than a decade of experience in the industry. Today I will show you how to practice SQL. The most common case in my practice is when student comes to me with some basic knowledge in SQL and wants to improve, wants to become more fluent. For this video, I also assume that you have basic knowledge about SQL. You know how to write an elementary query like select star from some table. You know about where clause that it is used for filtering. You know how to order tables and uh, have uh, basic knowledge about joints. Maybe someday I should a course for total beginners who have absolute zero knowledge in SQL. But today I assume that you have watched some tutorial or read some blog post for beginners, or maybe you had a SQL course in your university or in your bootcamp. I don't think that uh, we have problems with good introductory SQL courses today. The problem is what to do after the good introductory SQL course, how to practice this skill, how to make it truly yours, how to internalize it and make it automatic. That's what I want to teach you today. And right away, I think that the best way to practice SQL is to go through LeetCode SQL 50 list. It offers you 50 SQL questions from easy to hard. It uh, has one hard question that will help you to uh, practice SQL skills. In this video, I give you instructions about how to properly approach this list. First of all, you need to practice regularly. I recommend to practice five days a week from Monday to Friday and your session should be uh, from one to two hours long. Don't, uh, don't make it longer than that because uh, you need to practice for a long time, at least for one month. The recommended time here for, uh, from lead code is uh, best for one month of prep time. And you don't want to quit. If you start to practice uh, very intensely in the beginning, you may get tired, you may burn out and quit. We don't want that. So your uh, sessions should be not exhausting. After a session, you should feel better than before the session. Your session should be empowering, not exhausting. And the second question is to how to make your sessions empowering, how to feel better after the session. The most common error that people commit here is that they challenge themselves every session. They open the problem and they try to solve it themselves. They try to figure out how to solve the question. And that's the mistake. You have to start with the solution. Do not try to solve the problem yourself. When you open the question, you go straight to the solution. LeetCode uh, provides you with editorials for some questions and you may also look at user's solution here and to find solution that you understand. And after uh, you read through the solution, you go and implement the solution yourself. That's what your practice should be. Do not torture yourself with puzzles. You have no idea how to solve. You will not benefit from that. First, you have to look at a lot of solutions. If you familiar with machine learning, you know that in order to train the machine learning model, you should show it 
a lot of data, a lot of examples. And only after that, uh, the model will be able to predict the target value for the new observations. The same is true for you. Before solving new problems yourself, you have to look at a lot of examples and train yourself to solve these questions. And that's how you do it. You read the solution and then you implement the solution yourself. Approach like this makes your sessions pleasant and satisfactory. And this will allow you to practice for a long time. With approach like this, you may practice for months without uh, getting tired or without burning out. On my channel, I offer video solutions for all problems from LeetCode SQL 50. I have this playlist, LeetCode SQL 50 walkthrough learn SQL. It has five parts, uh, tens, uh, 10 problems each. So uh, you may use this as solutions you start with. So you may watch how I solve the question and then try to solve it yourself. Also, uh, I created a lead code SQL 50 template where you have the list of all problems and uh, links with timestamps to solutions for each problem. And in this template, you may, uh, you may comment on these problems and uh, reflect on what was challenging for you. And also uh, you may track here uh, how many times you have already solved uh, this particular question, <coughs> because I recommend to come back to old questions time after time. So th this could be uh, your uh, template where you track your progress with uh, SQL 50 list. Because here at LeetCode, uh, LeetCode also provides you kind of a way to track it because here you may have this uh, uh, check mark that uh, denotes that you uh, have solved the question. <clears throat> but I think uh, your own Google Sheet is more flexible and here you may add additional columns where you may add something else. It will help you to uh, make uh, your practice even more uh, mindful. You may find the links to all materials I discuss in this video in the description. And also uh, consider subscribing to my channel and liking this video. This will help me to grow. To make your SQL sessions even more satisfactory, I recommend you to track them. Here is the template you may use. So this template has a simple table where you have date column, start, end column, duration, number of problems solved and your comment. So here when you begin the session, you put uh, current date in the cell and by the way you can use a shortcut a hotkey for that command or control and semicolon and it inserts the date right away uh, and then also you record the starting time and to paste the starting time or not the starting time but the current time yeah because you when you start the session you just want to record current time here so uh, in order to do that quickly you may use another hotkey command shift semicolon bam and the current time appears here and then uh, and then you finish you do uh, the same for the end column uh, command shift uh, semicolon and here you have uh, the uh, current time again and then in this cell i have formula and you may uh, drag it down and here this session was 11 seconds just for the demonstration purposes yeah and here you may track how many problems you solved you you you've gone through uh, and here you may put some comment like this it was hard but i did it uh, so here you may reflect on your uh, feelings about the session about the sequel about your problem uh, about your progress about everything i uh, find it very very helpful because 
uh, logs like this, they help you to stay on track. And also, I uh, like to use uh, logs like this as, uh, as my Hall of Fame. So when you will have here, let's say five or 10 sessions, even two sessions that you have completed, you will be proud about yourself. And you will like to look at this log and think about how much work you have al already put in. And it will help you to keep going. You may also find the link to this template in the description. Another important advice I want to give you is to skip questions that you struggle to understand. Sometimes you will start with the solution and the solution will be too hard for you to understand right now. Don't struggle to understand it right now. If you feel that you cannot do it, I don't know, you, you try to understand the solution for more than a half hour and you still understand nothing about it. It means that you have to skip it right now and to go to another question. That's completely okay because you can return to this question in the future. Right now you are building your SQL skills and they are improving every day. And questions that are difficult for you today will be not difficult for you tomorrow. So just don't struggle with questions that are uh, really difficult for you right now and go to another question. Um, SQL, uh, SQL 50 list offers you 50 questions. So we have no, uh, uh, we have no problem with the amount of questions here. So you may calmly skip difficult questions and uh, continue with the next one. And then you may return to the difficult question in the future. And the last advice I want to give you is to use ChatGPT to help yourself to learn. When you will be going through this list, you will encounter a lot of new concepts you have never seen before. And the best way to learn them and to help yourself to understand them is with ChatGPT. ChatGPT is insanely good with SQL. You may insert the whole queries here and ask uh, for explanation. When you see some solution that you cannot understand, you may paste it in ChatGPT and ask to break it down for you, to explain the solution step by step. And this is very helpful. So uh, treat ChatGPT as a tutor, as your own personal tutor who, who are available, who uh, available 24 seven. So uh, when you practice, uh, you should have opened your list of questions, your session log and uh, ChatGPT. So that's, that's how you uh, manage your session. And here uh, at lead code, you open the question, uh, you look at the solution or watch my solution, and then you uh, code it yourself. That's how your practice is structured. This is it. Thank you for watching. With practice like this, after one month, you are going to be a guru in SQL and will be able to pass any job interview. Bye bye. See you in the next one.